Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And so the topic of tonight's discussion is the fortune is the follow-up. Right. And Victoria has a reputation in the realm of network marketing as the follow-up queen. Boy, she loves the process of follow-up. And I think that has something to do with her and sales background. She's got a very strong sales background. Uh, but anyway, we're going to delve right into the fortune is in the follow-up. And so to start out, um, one of the places that people in network marketing really drop the ball is you, you make contact with a person and then you do a presentation. You do a bang up presentation. You invite them to a meeting. Invite them to a meeting and then you kind of get caught up with other things, other people. And you just simply forget to follow up. And, I mean, you just drop the ball. They're out there waiting to make a decision or waiting for someone to help them to give, make a decision. Give them direction. Of give them sort. direction. Yeah. You know, people today, one of the pe things people today desire is leadership. Everywhere you look, right. people are talking about where are the leaders. People want to be led. And so one of the ways you can lead people is through the process of follow-up. Um, but statistics show that it takes seven touches in order to make a sale. And that's on average, seven touches. Yeah, so, I mean, how are you going to do it on one contact or on two contacts? You have to be willing to follow up. And through some of the traditional methods of follow-up, are very, very challenging because people just, as I mentioned, people forget, right? What yeah, do you think they, about that, Victoria? I mean, it's like you if you don't follow up, you don't know where you stand. I mean, I want to follow up because I want to know, do I cross them off my list? Do I follow up back with them in a few months or a few weeks? You know, you don't know what it is. And you can't sit there and expect them to come to you. You need to go and be the leader and go ahead and cinch the deal. Find out where their head is. Maybe they had a death in the family. Maybe they're, mm. you know, they're, they're starting a new job. Now, I know a lot of people will say that's just an excuse. And it is to some degree. Mm -hmm. But if they can't start by 7 o'clock that night, when can we start? Let me stop you there, babe. Because let me ask you. Let me ask you out there. Have you ever had a day when you were just kind of out of it? You know, maybe you had a bad day. You got some bad news, right? And somebody approached you about an opportunity that actually might have been a great opportunity for you, but you just couldn't hear it. You just couldn't feel it because you were just not in that mode. You weren't focused. You didn't want to talk to anybody about anything, right? So they, they contacted you. And what if they just left you hanging and moved on to the next person and didn't get back to you? People's situations and things change from day to day, week to week, year to year. The same person that might have said no to you two or three months ago, they may have gotten situated with a new job. Maybe they transitioned and got a new apartment or new home or house. Maybe they were having a baby. You don't know what could have gone on in their life. But because that situation might not have been affordable for their time span then, maybe it's better now. The bottom line is you need to find out what the objection is. And you will never know what the objection is until you follow through with a follow-up. Follow-up. You will never know. Follow-up. Until you follow through and follow up and call them and get back with them, you will not know why. You may just assume they don't want to do it. It may not be that. It may not be that they don't want to do it today. That doesn't mean they don't want to do it and move some funds around for next week. It may not even be money. Yeah. People find money. I See, I think that's an excuse because I think most network marketing companies out there are extremely affordable. Most of them are. People find money for what they want. Mm, I mean, people do. For that big screen TV. People for find that, money for the worst for things. That, for that life. cable bill. Or their drugs. <laughs> yeah, or their just... drinking. Or, or clothes. Or to get their hair or their nails done. People find money for whatever they want. I don't care what side of the railroad tracks they are. You will find money for what you want. Yeah. how important it is to you at that time. So money is not an objective. I don't look at it as. What I always find out is, is there objective because something else is a priority right then and there? Yep. And, then that's, and that's fine. If they have another priority, find out what it is and find out a date 
that you can pursue it. Right. And what works for their schedule. Find out what it is. But you can't do that unless you ask questions and you follow up and follow through. Yeah. you got to ask questions. I see the Charlies out there. I know Charlie knows that the fortune is in the follow-up. Definitely. And, you know, the good news is that with the advents of technology in the 21st century, now we have ways that we can follow up to, to help us out. The process can be much, much more yeah. automated. You know, before using the traditional methods where you would have to, you know, keep a list, uh, paper tracking systems and, and, and remember <laughs> to call people. Well, we, we just don't do that. We don't. That's why most people don't really follow up the way they should. But now we have automated systems that can help us to follow up. You know, we have systems like autoresponders, like uh, AWeber, Get Response. And what they will do is give you several ways to follow up. One, you can follow up with a sequence of messages. And you can, you can put some really nice crafted messages to provide people information, provide people value. And so they can begin to know, like, and trust you. Because on that first contact, they don't really know who you are. So it's, it takes time for people to get to trust you. It's all and about relationships. All about building relationships. And, rapport. and that's done over time through, yeah. through consistent messaging and, and sending people important, valuable content that they can utilize to help them to build their business. That's right. And so, so you've got, you've got uh, autoresponders, traditional autoresponders, but now the newest hot thing is Messenger. So now you can actually use Messenger, Facebook Messenger, as an autoresponder. Uh, you can do sequential messages. You can do you can do broadcast messages. It is absolutely amazing what you can do. You can even tie it to capture pages. It is so so powerful. So the thing is, we've got a wide open territory when it comes to follow up now. And the thing is. Since we're in the 21st century, you want to take yeah, advantage <laughs> of 21st century technology. And that's what we're all about. We're your 21st century marketers. And we, are, again, are here Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. And we have a passion to help network marketers leverage the Internet, take the business online. It's so, so powerful. It's a tool. It's a tool. We never said. Quit doing what's working for you or quit doing what you're doing. But how much more effective could you be if you had diversity? Mm, how mm, many people mm. are you losing or you're missing out on? Absolutely. Because you're doing it just one way. Absolutely. It's kind of like stuck in the mud. You're doing it one way and you're just thinking everybody is just going to go that way. How many people, really think about it, hmm, how many people... If you were diverse in your approach and you had online as a tool in addition to what you're using, how many more people? And don't assume that just because you're doing online the old-fashioned way that you're doing it right. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I see a lot of times Facebook. Hey, not well, you know, the, the thing is... You know, you want to be flexible. You want to you want to adjust with changes in, in the time. You know, a lot of people look at technology and they're afraid of it. They don't want to touch it. You know, I'm not technical the, at all. The computers are taking over. The robots are taking over. No, you know, it's a lot easier it, than you think. You know, uh, you know, it, it's 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 you. You just have to position yourself. Position yourself. So you can take advantage of the technology. You should you want can to utilize that. You should want to. But it, because when a it lot comes, of millennials and you're out there that could be on your team. There's a lot of centennials, millennials. There's a lot. There's a huge ocean of people that if you're just doing a strictly tradition, you're going to miss them. And who knows? You're going to. Who knows? So over time, over like time, that. as uh, artificial intelligence takes over, entrepreneurs may be the only people that have that have the ability to work. Because you know what? 
we can utilize that technology sure to help us sure to, to get to our customers, to get our message out there. That's so right. people in the traditional jobs, they're going to be displaced pretty quickly. Really As artificial intelligence takes over those jobs, it's just a matter of time. Got to be flexible. So don't you want to don't you want to position yourself to take advantage of the technology? Instead of waiting by the sidelines and complaining and bitching and moaning about how people are use, losing their jobs because of robots and because of artificial intelligence, don't you want to be on the leading edge instead of the bleeding edge? Or being like a lot of a lot of network marketers, and they, and I I know I've known I've heard it for years, and I'm quite sure there are people out there that can attest to it right now. You've hit a brick wall. Mm. You've gone through your warm market. Mm, been you're not that. great with cold market to begin with so you're learning but while you're learning earn while you learn mm. have both Absolutely. offline online offline online <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you got it so yeah. that, so that's our quick message for the evening uh, if you find value in the type of messages that we're providing please share it with the people you care about. Uh, and if you are a sharp network marketer, you, you want a profitability. You want to share it with your team. Definitely right. share, share, share. Um, also, if you like the information we're providing, you'd like additional information, just type info in the comments below and we will get right back to you. And so with that, this is Eric and Victoria saying, hope you're having a great evening. If not, let's make it one. And always remember, Excellence always prevails.